Hello everybody and welcome back to Survivor Trucking. So last week we had two episodes because of the issue we had in the first episode. This week hopefully just the one episode, and I say hopefully because it means it should be longer than the uh, the first episode last week, uh, and yes, it should also be much more successful. Now if we go back to that last episode um, that we did, basically I was in Porth Maddock and I was hoping to cross into Ireland but the game really didn't want me to go there. It didn't give me any options. And yes, it looks like I've been reset to Cambridge anyway, but that is fine because my plan is to actually fast track the purchasing of our lorry. We're gonna buy one today, straight away. But yes, we obviously can't just do this without a bit of help. And I've been reading the comments and well, one mod in particular was suggested to me and it's a great idea. The used truck mod so we can buy a lorry with mileage i think potentially wear not too sure about that but yeah as you can see here this one has 123,000 miles we do have a few options because we have been past several uh, truck dealers i always wanted my first one to be a volvo so i think i'm going to stick with that because that was what i wanted but we do have scania and daf as well I mean, Scanny is quite good because we've got one here for 47,000. But yes, as I said, Volvo would be my first choice today. So it would be nice to go for this one here. But we only have 72,000 pounds. And even if we did have 73, we'd have no money left for fines and stuff like that. So we're going to go with this one here. Um, let me just see the data. So it has 245,685 kilometers on it uh, quite a bit it's, it's fairly well used but it has an engine horsepower of 420 I'm happy with that there's only one change we're gonna to have to make and that is the side that we said it's gonna to have to be right-hand drive I think all of these are defaulting to left-hand drive so let's just get that into here as for colors we can't really afford to change it yeah it doesn't make it any more expensive anyway uh, and yes we, we can't be affording different colors at this stage, but we will change it eventually if we feel that is a necessary thing to do. So here we go. Our first lorry spawning in the Cambridge garage. That's the only place we can spawn it. And there we go. We have 18,000 pounds left. Thank you for your purchase. We will deliver your newly bought truck to your garage in Cambridge immediately. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Uh, so, it does mean that we can go pretty much anywhere. Okay, first time in the cab. Let's get the engine started. Put some lights on. Uh, actually, I know I can see that we do need to rest, uh, which means that we are going to have to reset the job list. Okay. Yes, it's, it's already gone red. The bed has gone red. Shame, because it was 8am or something. And now it's five. We can do triple rest if we want to. Doesn't cost us any money. It's to make up for all of the resting that we never did. Good, that's better. So it's 11 a.m. Um, yes, the, the jobs would have changed, but that is actually potentially good. Let's see here. Yes, yes, that one there. To Ireland, fantastic. I would be transporting 21 tonnes of sugar. Uh, anything else? Don't want to overlook something which is even better, but no, no, no. We, we, we are definitely going to be uh, doing well with that. The price per mile isn't great, but anyway, let's get this going. So it has been noticed by a few people, JF Farming <laughs> included, um, that I drive with my lights on. I do. The main reason for driving with my lights on is because otherwise I'm likely going to forget to put them on when it is time to put them on. But yeah, as it's been pointed out as well, it's not it's not illegal to drive with your lights on, and in fact many lorries are fitted with daytime running lights anyway. I appreciate it's not the same lights, but it's not really an issue. But I will put just the side lights on for now. So we're going to pick up our trailer which is less than a mile away. The roads are very quiet here. 
I had such a good feeling to own our own lorry. I've been working for this moment. We, yeah, we only have 18,000 pounds left, but really, that's fine. Because now we own our own lorry, we should be making more for each delivery anyway. If only I'd been working towards the uh, economy, fuel economy perk. I wasn't expecting to buy this so soon. Okay, so let's get this one attached to the, uh, the tractor unit. Hopefully it's still there. It is good. Yeah, it really seems to be quite a nice little lorry, really. I like it. Ooh, a gathering of workers. Right, I actually do have the uh, realistic trailer attach attachment option switched on, I think. So we do have to be perfectly aligned with the kingpin. There we go. Put the trailer legs up. And off we go. So, 487 miles. Some of it is over the sea, so some of it's going to be on a ferry. But I think the majority is me driving, and it means we get to go through Wales again. Which I am very happy about. I really did enjoy going through Wales at the end of the previous episode. It was short-lived. But it was good. Okay, let me just reset the camera. There we go. I think our seating position is quite good. And we can cycle through the dashboard display. Yeah, we, we also need to pay for fuel as well. I don't think we've done it too early though. I think it was a good time to do it. But it makes sense using the used machinery mod well, the used truck mod. Yes, getting mixed up with FS there. Can use the cruise control, very handy. Nice little park. Come on, let's get through these lights. Good. So, can we do this whole journey without getting any fines? It'd be interesting to see. I have to keep resetting the camera. Uh, turning right here. And then I think we're out of Cambridge. I wonder if anybody will let me go. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Thank you. Well, this is quite a heavy load to start off with. I think it was 21 tonnes. Yep, 21 tonnes of sugar. Uh, and acceleration seems quite good. We can also upgrade our existing lorry as well. We don't have to just replace it. We could just build up from what we've got. But this is better than I thought I'd be starting with. I thought we'd be going for something even lower spec, like 300 and something horsepower. This is good. And it looks like you do start off with no wear. It's got no damage at all. You're just getting those miles. Let's just see if it's displaying. Must be somewhere. Yeah, don't know where exactly it is, but it must be uh, must be on one of these screens. I'm probably staring straight at it and just completely ignoring it. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> well, yes, it will be recording the mileage somewhere. Okay. So, the M11. It's our first motorway. I did get somebody asking me to read out every road name. Whenever we change roads, I should say the, the number. Uh, I'll do it whenever I can do. <laughs> I'm just going to go on the road signs that I see. It is quiet today. That is good. Yeah, the other day I saw a video, another video, of the 
standard UK um, map layout from SES back in 2012. And yeah, when you've been playing pro mods, it doesn't look good. But I hear that they are working on it, so it'll be great when they do get it out. And I also must say that I love how SCS always keeps you up to date. Their blog is, is just fantastic. It's a really good idea. It's nothing new, they've been doing it for years, but just having these regular updates just always allows you to see how hard the company is working. SCS in this case. Okay, so it's struggling a bit. We're getting 51 miles per hour, but that's not bad. We're limited to 56 anyway. And it's not exactly a light load. Okay, Dartford Crossing. I didn't actually look and see exactly which way it's taking us. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing that this is the fastest way. Yeah, we want to stick in this lane. But we might need to change to the right-hand lane. Still, it's not very busy, so it's not like we have to rush and, and get into there. It's quite a tight road. Yeah, so um, obviously this is quite a turning point for this series. I don't know how far this series is going to go. The approach I'm taking is just take it one episode at a time. I'm hoping eventually we'll have a really high-spec lorry. But it depends which way we go about it. Look at him overtaking me. Him or her. Uh, yeah, it depends which way we go about it. If we were to put our money into lots of different lorries and get employees then we probably never would actually have a really high spec lorry because we're using the money yeah so it's just the way we do it but then again if we did do it that way if we have employees it means they're bringing money in and it would probably be quite a, a big amount of money a large sum which would then give us the money to be able to buy a high spec lorry so <laughs> we go back to uh, we go back to the beginning again pretty much, where we would either have a, a high-spec lorry or employees. We would succeed either way. I think when we get to that stage, that's when I would feel we could probably just turn this into streams. But at the moment, the progression, the growth, this must be documented in these vlogs. That's how I want to see it. The reason why it would be streaming, because I know some people would ask, and this is a long way down the line, I'm not saying at all that this series is about to finish, far from it. Uh, the reason why it would be streaming is because I'd probably be doing some massive journeys through Europe, like over a thousand miles in one go, and if I was to do that in this series, it would just be a constant time lapse, pretty much. It would be tricky to do. You'd want to see the whole thing in real time. Okay, it's getting a bit busier. As we would expect around here. Come on! <laughs> it's number plate is lag. Oh, that's hilarious. Except it's not lagging. It's still amusing. Yeah, I want to check the map. Uh, yes, we're going toward. This is the lane towards Birmingham. I think that's right. I will check the map. Oh, I see. Yes, we're going counterclockwise around the M25. Um, and then, yeah, M4. Pretty much all the way to Swansea. In fact, all the way to Swansea. And then, yeah, Fishguard to... Is that pronounced Wexford? I really am not familiar with um, pronunciations of Irish places. I'm guessing it is, but yeah, I don't want to offend anybody there. No, no, don't don't go so slow. That was a near miss. 
Wow. How slow can you go? I wanted to change lanes. Crikey. Uh, yes, that would probably be seen as some fairly reckless driving from me. Luckily, no contact. The sooner we get off the M25, the better. I don't like it. I don't like it in real life, and I don't like it in the game. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Yeah, I, d I don't know why, but I really do prefer the twisty, turny country lanes, and I know statistically they are the most dangerous. But I just prefer them. Okay, um, I believe, no, I think we could probably stay in this lane. We are going around here. Oh, aeroplane. Yeah, Heathrow. Again, not too sure if this is the... I think it is the end. I'm pretty sure we've just come off the M25, because otherwise that would have been a very strange manoeuvre. I, I can imagine my viewers think that my driving skills are quite amusing. Ah, uh, that's really bad. There's no slip road. Well, there is a slip road, but... I should have been on the inside lane. This is interesting. I'm sort of learning at the same time as doing it. If you get what I mean. It just seems so much more difficult in a game. I don't know why. Real life driving, driving just seems easier. Yes, yeah, so this must be the M4, as we've established. And as we've also established, it's just a long straight road leading into Wales. So let's get that first time lapse underway. Hopefully, there'll be no accidents. My driving so far has been uh, <laughs> not great. But yeah, no accidents. So that, that's okay. Well, we're in Wales, but we do have a bit more time on this road yet. I don't want to time lapse at all, uh, but this is starting to get a little bit more hilly, a bit more interesting. I just want to mention a little thing that happened back there. There was a lorry wanted to pull out, and yeah, I moved across. It didn't bother to move out, 
and I ended up in the third lane, which is not where we should be. But I soon got back into the first lane. So I don't think in future I'm going to let lorries out from a slip road because they don't seem to acknowledge you. They just sit there and don't bother to move out anyway. And it might have been that a vehicle behind me was still too close. But yeah, I didn't study it that much. Okay. Yeah, we're going down here. Quite busy here. But that is the majority of that main A road over. Uh, we, it's going to get more interesting. It's probably going to get a bit more hilly. Um, and then obviously we've got the ferry crossing. And then once we've been on the ferry, it's probably just a few miles until we get to our destination. But depending on what we have as an option, uh, yeah, we may or may not continue today. If there's a very short one, we can start it. Having said that, we, we could still start a job and then finish it in the next episode, but I don't like to do that. I prefer to finish a job at the end of the episode. Also, it's 6pm, so it's starting to get a bit dull. Not dark yet. And we will have to rest. You can see the bed is filling up, which means I'm getting sleepy. Okay, yeah, it's definitely getting busier. Rush hour. We still have 150 miles, but again, some of that is on a ferry, so it's probably about 100, which in ECS2 terms is not very much. It's probably about 8 to 10 minutes of driving. And headlights, yes, a wise idea. It's not too dull yet, but it, but it's not too dark yet, but it is still um, advisable to have the lights on now, I'd say. I love this. It, 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 this really does look like the UK. Certainly busy. For anybody just joining the series and wondering what all this is, uh, I did mention it earlier, but yeah, ProMod. If you go onto the ProMod's website, you can you can download it for free. Although, if you pay one dollar, you can download it in a much easier format. It's all one file, and it's faster. So um, I would advise doing that, but obviously it's up to you. You can download it 100% for free if you want to. but you do require the DLCs as well. Well, so far, this little Volvo has been doing so well. I love it. Although, having said that, I'm usually quite easily pleased when it comes to lorries. And in some cases, I prefer basic. Ooh, some cones. There must have been an earlier incident. I know, call me weird and dull, but basic vehicles, in my opinion, are better. I prefer simple things without vehicles without too many electrics. You want it to work. You don't want to have to deal with electrical issues. I know it doesn't look as good on the surface. But over time, especially on an old vehicle, it certainly becomes easier to have basic. But no, it's totally, uh, totally a matter of opinion. It's just me. I know it, it is. It is lovely to have all these fancy features and everything. But I always find the novelty can wear off. The same applies uh, for my pickup truck that I have in real life. 
that you can go with all these other brands which pack them full of features and electricals and then there's Toyota who always to me seem behind with the technology which is what I like now they do actually they do they do have many fancy features and the invincible model and everything pretty pretty good you know a lot of electrics my one isn't the invincible for that reason I didn't want anything too fancy that probably quite nicely brings me on to the uh, to the Defender the new Defender if you compare the old one to the new one it's essentially a discovery isn't it the new one the old one just feels like it should be on a farm the new one yeah <laughs> maybe not but again that could be a controversial comment everybody is entitled to their own opinion well yeah clearly we are on a much quieter road now with many roundabouts we're not going round any we're just going over them but I feel we should be getting very close to the port yes we are in fact this is the road to the port and only the port I like it though Got the sun setting over there. Nice. Quite a few signs as well. Except for access. Yep, ferry. Hmm. Definitely going in the right direction. Come on, brakes, brake! No! Oh, crikey! Okay, uh, my brake intensity might be set a bit weak on this one. Oh no, look at this, I've created a... Oh, just back up. I think that lorry will continue, yeah, there we go. But that was totally my fault. I was braking way back there, I don't know if it's possible to tell from in the cab. Is there a... nah. Some lorries, they light up on the dashboard when you're braking. Yeah, did I get a fine for that? I certainly collected 1% damage. Which really isn't too bad. You can get that from tyre wear. Okay, yeah, that was my mistake. Yeah, there's no light to show us when we're braking. But no, I was. You, you just have to take my word for it. I think I might have to increase the braking intensity. Of course, it could also be it's a heavy load on not the heaviest tractor unit ever. Well, this is fish guard and it looks stunning. Yeah, look at that little cab in front. Look at this place. Wow. Yeah, certainly getting tired, but we might automatically rest on the ferry. I think we do. So that makes it much easier. Whoa! Oh, now, come on. £595? That wasn't me. You, what's your number plate? We've got your number plate. I need my money back. £600? Now that's unfair. <sighs> Not going too well. I sort of half expected that to pull out, but then I thought, mm, maybe it won't. I had my foot ready on the brake, and I still couldn't stop in time. Let's get that adjusted. My... Braking intensity is, yeah, it's, it's, it's not in 50%, so we'll just get that increased for this particular lorry. It doesn't seem like the brakes are being that good. Should be better now. It's very busy here. I think I've said that a few times. Whoa. 
Well, JF Farming will be uh, busy analysing all this. Yeah, I, sh I probably should just say, if you want to watch one of JF Farming's uh, videos, then please do click on the link down below. I have mentioned it enough times now. So uh, the link is there, so you can go directly to it. I'm hoping for better things though on our next drive. This is just not going uh, not going great. The six hundred pound fine was what annoyed me really, because it wasn't my fault. Okay, so where do we go from here? Just left, I guess. That's all I can do. And then round here. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Uh, it mustn't keep speeding. There is actually a ferry moving. Okay, um, pretty sure it's not that. We need to actually get onto the ferry. He's going the way bridge. And now we can hopefully make it onto the ferry itself. Uh, so we are crossing where we've just been. We need to go over there. This is this is confusing. The police car has let me go. Thank you, police car. And then we go left up here. That's where we were. Fascinating. Gotta watch that trailer. Oh, look at that. No. Come on. This is terrible. That is so tight. Sending lorries around that way. Uh, okay, well we have made it. Did that damage me? No, it didn't. Interesting. Ah, oh, it's got to be the most stressful drive ever. And we've we've made it. Good. Let's cross. And now we can complete our journey. Calculating route. Our destination is there, so it's just basically up the road, straight over the roundabout, turn left. Sounds simple enough. I'm sure nothing else can go wrong. But this is why I record these videos, because you just never know what could happen. Hopefully you find them entertaining. I, I, mean, I don't know how entertaining you actually find them. I have had some very good comments. But I think, yeah, these, these accents, they, they do need analysing. Because when, when they actually happen, I don't really, I don't fully understand who is at fault immediately, because you sort of have to play something back, you have to watch it again to, to see exactly what happened. When I edit the videos, I always can see before I upload the video. But obviously now, I don't. Unless it's obvious that if, when that lorry pulled out in front of me, that was just clear that it was not my fault. So it is just 12 miles to our destination. Uh, but we have achieved the goal, which was to get to Ireland. We've made it. Get the differential turned off. Uh, and this is going to now enable me to do a full island drive next week. It's taken ages to get here, but y you can see the reasons why. And it'll be good to rest as well. It looks like we still didn't properly rest. Which is funny. But we can rest after this journey, that's fine. 
and the final piece looks like it's going to be quite slow but we're almost there Well, they certainly have a daft dealership. I'm amazed the speed limit here is 50. I already feel like I'm going too fast at 30. Ah, oh, there we go, 31. And here we are, somewhere on our left-hand side. will do. Uh, looks like we've got a fairly easy uh, bay to park on. Happy about that because it's going very dark. Should be able to do it first time. Now I can see the other side in the mirror. Top left hand corner of the screen we have a mirror display. And there we go. We are in, and yes, that is gonna to have to do it for today. But let's see what we can get out of it. Should be 100%. Yeah, excellent. That's brilliant. Look at that, 12,897. Almost 1,000 experience points. We didn't level up, but next time we will do. Hmm, Cambridge to Wexford. Again, not 100% on that. Um, but let's just see which places will be open to us next time. Of course, I will be resting, so we can't guarantee these. But it would just be interesting to get an idea. Uh, yeah, so not a huge amount, but that... Yeah, that, that is obviously subject to change, which is good. I think resting will be beneficial. Okay, so we are going to leave it there. We have £29,516 again. Not bad. And we have this, which I am very happy about. So please do comment down below, like... If you, if you like the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.